guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters, um, and this was illustrated by Richard Crooks. So I have the Witch's Kitchen uh, Oracle deck, which is like the companion to this, um, and I was like, I don't know, like I really like the Witch's Kitchen, I'm not sure if I would also like this deck even though I know it's like made by the same people um, and well I'm very glad that I got it so uh, let's go ahead and open her up and uh, we'll just uh, you know take a little look ski for you guys so um, just let me put the cards down here if you notice I already busted out my little uh, gobble gobble <laughs> spread cloth because uh, well at least here in the States um, we celebrate Thanksgiving, um, which is just a great time to give thanks and be grateful for all the wonderful things that we have. Okay, so um, the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards. This is the little guidebook that comes with it. And I think it's always nice to at least take a gander into the guidebook, at least like look at what the author had to say, you know, or the artist and you know, even if you don't look to it for um, interpretations, like, you know, if you're an intuitive reader like I am, I still think it's it's nice to take a look. So there's like a little like maybe how to use it. There's like a little spread in there for you guys. And then it goes right into the messages. Okay, so it'll show you a black and white version of the card and it'll give you the uh, keyword and the word that were both on the card. Plus you get um, like a little mantra or spell and then here's the witch's wisdom so the wisdom that can be gained from this particular card and then uh, foresight so looking to the future uh, what you can do with uh, this particular card and then it says air revealed so instead of just looking at you know all of this uh, kind of looking at the keyword up here um, so something else that you can gain from the card and it has that basically for every single card in the deck and then you get to the very back and you just have stuff from your authors usually they have like a picture of the authors but maybe not in this one. Oh, here we go it's on the back so you have your author and you have your artists authors and your artist okay so let's go ahead and put this aside then and we'll take a look at the cards. This is your standard oracle card size. Um, you know, so if you have smaller hands, maybe it might be a little difficult to shuffle. Um, in that instance, I would just top shuffle. Um, but you can see it has a, a lovely silver edging. And each card is pretty glossy, but that's because it's coated for durability. As you can see. Um... The printing is awesome. Like the colors really pop in me. I'm very color centric, so I like to see me some color. Um, I would say as far as cardstock, um, maybe around like 300. Um, so, but it's got some bend. It's got some durability. These cards are gonna last a while. So whether you're a side shuffler, or riffle shuffler, I don't think it matters. But uh, let me take you into the backs of the cards here, so you can see the little pentacle is made up of various little stars which I think is beautiful and I love the color because you know okay so as you can see it's um, kind of a mishmash of uh, Photoshop within the cards but um, I really love the colors and you know if hmm, maybe I did have these upside down after all um, if you were somebody who really liked the um, which is kitchen deck, uh, which I really loved. And I really loved all the like recipes that were in there. Um, I found that the, I know that it's like the companion deck, but it really does read really well uh, together. You know, sometimes um, I'll get a deck and then there's like a companion deck and it's like, it's just not as good as like the first one I got. <laughs> um, this one, I, you know, it's so simplistic it seems, but I don't know, there's just something about the energy that comes out of these cards. I really enjoy them for readings, and I actually don't like reading this without the Witch's Kitchen. Like, I need to read them together. <laughs> okay. 
this one's kind of like a whoa. Like you really feel the banishment. And I would say normally, I don't know, this like style of art is not my normal taste, but you know, I guess I have decks that are, have all sorts of different artistry to them, which is good. It's good to have a eclectic mix because then you get, um, I believe, a much more rich type readings. This goes good for, well, as I film this, it's just before Samhain, so. And Dia de los Muertos, which I also celebrate, so that one goes well. Like I said, I love the color. I love the energy. Just something about it feels really good. And you know, I haven't actually paired it with a tarot deck yet, but I'm pretty sure it would go really well together in that as well. So I'll make sure that I maybe do some of my readings and post them on my Instagram. Oh, and here's Wally Wally Toe sniffing around. He's out on his walk right now. That didn't have green eyes, they had nice golden eyes. That could be the lobster. I think it's interesting though on this one, it says tarot cards guidance, and it's actually this oracle deck. It's not actually a tarot deck, but you know, whatever. <laughs> For this, there's watchtowers of each of the four directions, so there'll be an east, west, north, and south. If I didn't already pass that already. Here we go, here's the west one. South. I love this one. And there we go. So let's zoom. Right. So here we have the deck. Let's give this a shuffle shuffle. And let's pull a card and just do a general reading um, just so you can see how I might read with it. Um, and then you know what? Let's pull out the guidebook too. Just for poops and giggles. So again, if this reading, you know, actually connects with you, then hey. But you know, otherwise, it's not meant for anybody in particular. All right, here we go. Fire, passion. Nice. Okay, so let's put those up here. And let's take a look at this card in more detail. So I love all the energy, all the motion. So this fire, passion, to me seems like um, there's somebody's project or something that you're working on that you've set in motion. And it just seems like it's gaining in momentum. I really... Yeah, I love this. So this is, I say, you know, it's a good omen, you know, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I love this. This train is a picking up a speed. There is no stopping this train. So whatever it is that you're working on, keep doing it. But uh, let's see what the guidebook actually has to say on this card. But that's just my intuitive hit. Um, and remember, you know, if you read intuitively and what you're getting out of a card isn't what it says in the guidebook, I say always go with your intuition. Um, okay, so let's go. I think it's in alphabetical order. Yes, it is. Okay. Fire, passion. Now call upon the spirit of fire to invoke new courage in all you desire. Its strength will ravish fears and plight and ignite the flame of passion tonight. This magic is worked with harm to none, so mote it be. There it is done. And I'm just going to read the wisdom that is up here. 
Your sparkle has waned and something is missing. Whether it is our lust for life, belief in yourself, or motivation, the element of fire is waiting to spice things up. Witches have a profound affinity with this element, for they recognize the power of a flame through spell work and connection with the ancestors. The magic of fire invokes lust, passion, attraction, and love. You're being encouraged to cast aside your fear of the flame and bring warmth into your inner world. Fire waits to be acknowledged and worked with you by you, or worked with by you. Invite fire into your life and allow the strength of its energy to purify and cleanse any doubts and worries that have clouded your view. Fire will fuel you to be able to walk in your true light with full might, vitality, and vigor as you reclaim your power. Well, that sounds freaking awesome. I got the power. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of walkthrough review of the Witch's Wisdom um, Oracle cards. And if you have this deck, let me know how you're using it. Uh, do you pair it with tarot cards? Do you read it alone? Do you actually have the Witch's Kitchen and do you uh, work with it together like that? Um, yeah, I'm just curious to know. Or maybe you just have comments or you know about the deck itself and maybe you don't have it or you want to ask me a question that's fine too just put that in the comment section down below and that's it for me spiritual homies if you dug this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this and if you want to catch a reading for me head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com where I also have a link to my oracle deck yes I had one published <laughs> it was uh, backed on kickstarter back in July um, and it's my Wally's World a healing journey through sacred sites and I have free shipping throughout the continental United States <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to send a little love my way and you want to see me doing uh, lots of other things here on YouTube or elsewhere, uh, then think about joining that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. And for as little as a dollar, you get lots of weekly guidance. There's lots of goodies on there. Every once in a while, I do like uh, just coupons just for my Patreon peeps uh, for my shop or, you know, do little like yearly readings for them and and tons of other stuff so definitely go check it out and um, as I'm looking at my pumpkin here you know this is actually a sweet pumpkin and I'm gonna try to make my first like from scratch pumpkin pie like not a you know not a premix anything like that so wish me luck <laughs> anyway I will catch you spiritual homies later peace love and chicken grease peace out <laughs>